Hey y'all, Irix Guy here, and uh, several of you have asked me how do I put my propellers on my Phantom 3. And this will be applicable for Phantom 3 Professional like I have here, uh, Phantom 3 Advanced, Phantom 3 Standard. And the first thing you're going to want to do, and check the link within this video's description, you can find these props. You're going to want to look at the directional indication, which to the right right there makes it tight, or to the left would make it uh, loose. You also want to look at the center color. This is a silver color, which means that you're going to want to attach it to the silver colored motor. You'll notice this one, see that's black right there? That one's silver. That one's black. That one's silver. So we have a silver center, so we're going to use one of these silver motors here. So again, looking at directional indication, if I turn that way, it should tighten. So here's how I do it. And then once it stops spinning, I very gently confirm that it's tight. So I've, I've flown a few hundred times. Uh, with the Phantom 3 and then also obviously I've had the Phantom 2 Vision Plus, Phantom 2, and Phantom 1 previously. And on none of those Phantoms have I ever had a, a propeller come off. That's how I do it. You asked. Obviously check your owner's manual. Make sure you're doing it properly, but this is how I've always done it. And I've never encountered an issue with mine. And to take it off, look at your directional indication. And again, I'm going to put it on again, looking at directional indication to tighten. And then just a gentle confirmation. I, I wasn't twisting it. I was just barely touching it to make sure that it spun on. So again, off. And then I'm going to put it back on. So I just sit it on there. Whoa. You got to make sure it's sitting on there. You know, you don't want your prop to fly away. So sit it on there and spin and then gently confirm. Sit it on, spin, and then gently confirm. That's how I do mine and thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe to youtube.com forward slash Y'all have a good day.